Hello again. I'm doing an update to our attempt to transition from cold sleeping to the crib. Um, my last video was um, basically just kind of bringing up speed from our first attempt trying a method that didn't work out for us to going to a no plan plan and that actually kind of working for us. And then um, that video came up on s Monday. So I missed doing the update for Monday night and basically what happened was very simply put, she didn't make it through the night. She went to bed our, the same as before where we went through our bedtime routine, we laid her down, she went to sleep, and then she woke up, I think, she woke up to nurse around midnight I think, and then she went back to sleep. Woke up at 4.30, ended up in bed with us. She didn't want to go back down. Uh, excuse me. And then last night was a total fail. We, and, and a lot of it was us. We didn't try as hard last night. Um, it was just kind of an off night. She was fussy from the very beginning. Our plan is no plan, so we don't have to do anything. We're not, you know, doing something where we have to stick to it because right now, we don't have a plan. So she was absolutely not tired, not going to sleep, wide awake, like fussing when we were trying to put her down. Then as soon as we gave up and we're like, let's just go sit down in the living room. She was just like wide awake and happy and looking around at everything. So she just wasn't even sleepy. And, um, and I know we probably should have still tried to put her down, but you know, she wasn't tired and we didn't want to spend three hours singing to her and tapping her butt trying to get her to go to sleep if she wasn't even tired to begin with. So we, so we brought her back out in the living room. We just relaxed, you know, tried to keep it calm. The lights dimmed and we watched a little bit of TV, what we were watching before we started bedtime, which she was looking sleepy at that time. So we figured we'd go back and maybe she'll get sleepy again. And she did not. <laughs> so we watched a little bit of TV and then it started to get late and we didn't, she still was like not even close to being tired and I tried nursing her, didn't work nursing her to sleep. So she ended up coming straight back to bed with us and we were like, well, let's just let her at least fall asleep with us and then we'll figure out if we want to move her or just let her stay. So she fell asleep with us eventually um, in our bed, but she was still up pretty late and, um, just kind of fussy once we got into the bedroom and normally she's not I mean she she always has a hard time with bedtime but um, especially since we've been trying to make this change as soon as she's back in our bed she's usually happy and this time she just wasn't happy anywhere she was fussing a lot I kind of had the thought that maybe she was you know maybe having some teeth coming through but still nothing <laughs> I keep checking and there's nothing so I don't know if it was teething related why she had such a rough night last night or if it was something else but you know she fell asleep in our bed and after fussing for a while and then we let her s sleep there for a few minutes I mean for a little bit longer for probably like 10 minutes or 15 minutes while we just kind of hung out in bed and did our own thing and then when it came time for us to go to sleep, we were, you know, kind of like, oh, should we take her to the nursery and put her in the crib or just let her sleep with us? What are we going to do? We ended up taking her back to the nursery and laying her down and she went, stayed asleep and slept in there for a little while. But then she woke up again, like 1130 or so, and she didn't want to go back. So she back to sleep after that. So she ended up again back in our bed and slept the rest of the night with us. So last night, as far as sleeping in the crib and sleeping, only waking up once like she was definitely was not that last night. Last night she woke up multiple times. She was fussy trying to get back to sleep and she ended up in bed with us. And even there, she, she wasn't that happy. So, um, tonight we are, is our night to, you know, talk about different methods and our backed up methods and kind of put a plan together. I picked up some books from the library, including The Sleep Lady, and then there was, um, one that was the no cry method to 
get your child to sleep, but it was for toddlers and children, like preschool age children. I didn't realize it until after I checked it out from the library, but it's just library books, so it's not really a big deal. Um, we probably won't even read that one yet unless we can't find something that we like in the other ones, but um, the Sleep Lady is the one I really wanted to look into, so we're probably going to read that tonight, look into that, kind of put our plan together, and then we're still doing the no plan plan until Friday, and then Friday is when we'll try something new. So we still have a few more days to see if it works. We're really hoping that the no plan plan kind of keeps working and that last night was just a fluke. Um, I mean, the night before was a little shaky, but she did make it until 4.30 in the morning, and I think that's not bad. Um, I mean, it's only a couple hours before we wake up anyway, so <clears throat> she did make it most of the night. Um, but, uh, I think we're going to try and do the same thing we've been doing with our normal bedtime routine, nursing her to sleep, putting her in their crib, and hoping that she'll make it through the night, or at least most of the night tonight. Um, and I do want to do a little something about what I find in the books. So when we go over those tonight, I'll probably write a lot of stuff down for our sake to figure out our plan. And then maybe in tomorrow's video, which hopefully I'll actually make one yesterday, I was going to make the video about Monday night, but I was just, there was a lot going on in our day. We were very busy and then we had some things to handle, some family business to handle. And so I just never got around to it. And, um, but tomorrow I'd like to try and keep up with making the videos, and then in tomorrow's video I'll go over what we found out tonight by reading those books. So, that is the current plan. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or would like to see more videos, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. I figured I'm always looking on YouTube for this kind of information and other people's experiences, so if my experience can help anybody else, then great. And I like the idea of being able to kind of make it like a conversation by reading the comments and, and you know, that way we're kind of, it's not just me talking and to a camera, <laughs> then I'm actually getting feedback and we can have like a little conversation. I'd love to hear other people's methods, or if you guys have videos, I'd love to see other videos of other moms talking or dads talking about their methods and how they're going about this. Um, it's just, it's such a interesting part of the whole process, trying to move from co-sleeping to the crib. I didn't even think about that when I was pregnant. I never thought that we would even co-sleep, and so this is like a new experience. Of course, all these are new experiences, but it's something that we weren't necessarily expecting. So um, I'd love to see other people's experiences or hear about other people's experiences, and if there's any questions, I'd love to answer them. So um, let's have a conversation. Thanks. Bye. So now we like the crib when it's not bedtime, huh? Are you having a good time? Hmm? Are you having fun? Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. It's not bedtime, so we love the crib. Don't hit yourself. You're so cute.